When you create a new pivot table in Excel, it's set up in a compact layout with all the row fields in one column. We're going to see how that looks and the other choices that you have for the layout. So here's my data. I've got a table that shows some customer orders and I'm going to insert a pivot table on a sheet that I've already got set up. So I'll select any cell in this table, go to the Insert tab, click Pivot Table, it has already filled in the table name and that's correct. I'm going to put it on an existing sheet. So I'll click there, click in the location box, go to that sheet and click cell B4. I like it down from the top and away from the left side a little bit. I'll click OK and there's the empty pivot table. I'm going to put a few fields into the pivot table. So I'll start with customer. I'll click that. That goes into the row field automatically. And then I'll put in the category. I'll check that. And it goes in below customer as the next field. And you can see that it's indented a bit, but they're all in column B. I'd like to see the quantity that we sold for each of these categories to each customer. So I'll check quantity and that puts it in as a value field and then I'd like to be able to filter these sales by the district so I'll put that in as a filter. So now we have a very simple pivot table set up and this is in the compact layout and everything in the row fields is in one column. At the top you can see that instead of saying customer or category it's just showing a generic name row labels. So that's the compact layout and we can change this to a different layout. So to change this layout I'm going up to the ribbon and over to the design tab which is under pivot table tools and that appears as long as you have a cell selected in the pivot table. So on design there's a layout group and here's report layout. When I click that arrow, I can see the three options which are Compact, Outline, and Tabular. So we're already in Compact. I'm going to go to Outline Form. You can see that now each of the row fields is in its own column. So Customer is in B, Category is in C, and you can see the field name in the heading instead of that generic heading that we had before. We can see a heading label for each customer and then below that are the categories. So each heading is in a separate row here and the subtotals right now are at the top with the heading. I can move those subtotals to the bottom if I prefer and to do that I go back to this design tab, subtotals and show all subtotals at the bottom. So that leaves the heading at the top. That's always going to stay there with outline view. And then you can see the name of the customer again and total with the subtotal at the bottom. When we're using this outline layout, we can also repeat these labels. So if you're trying to do a lookup perhaps or print something out and you want this corner cabin to repeat in every row here, that's possible with outline. I'll go back to report layout and repeat all item labels. So that fills that in. And I'll just undo that to turn that feature off. The next layout that we'll look at is tabular. When I select that, these labels aren't on a separate row anymore. Each one lines up with the first item of the next field. We can still show all those repeating labels. If I go back to report layout, we can repeat all the item labels just as we did with outline. I'll turn those off just by undoing. With the tabular layout, right now we have set the subtotals to show at the bottom, but if I go and try and change them to the top, so I'll say show at the top, it doesn't change. With tabular, because there isn't a separate row for the label, those subtotals always show at the bottom. The only thing you can do is turn them on or off. So if I turn them off, we don't see them, but we can't see them at the top. 
Going back to the original layout of Compact, just to compare, we can show the subtotals. Right now they're at the top, and in this one they can also show at the bottom. But we can't repeat those labels because everything's in a single column. So if I go here and say repeat all row labels, nothing happens. So you have three different layouts. This is Compact, the default. There's no way to change the default. You're going to get Compact as the pivot table layout when you first start. And once it's built, you can change to a different layout, and that gives you the option to repeat the labels, and you're going to see the field headings at the top of each column. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.